What's going on guys? Troy and Mountain Man Treasure. Time to take a look at what sold at auction. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel guys. My name is Troy. I'm a part-time reseller based in Montana. And usually on Wednesdays, we take a look at what sold over the last few days. And we're still taking a look at what sold, but this a little bit of a narrow focus. Now, if you've missed the previous videos that we did on this, I teamed up with Courtney over at Bolo Buddies and sourcing with Bolo Buddies. She's got a couple channels. I don't know how she takes care of them both. She's incredible. And we came up with this challenge. Almost 30 YouTube resellers decided to take part in this thing. It was a lot of fun. We took 10 items. We made a video like this and said, hey, you guys, comment down below. Pick five. The five winners are going to go up to auction starting on a Sunday. We went seven days and we started everything at 99 cents. Free shipping. Free shipping is the scary part of the whole deal. And so we put up five items here at the mountain. And I think we did pretty well. We did not win but we were going against Garbage Pail Kids cards, like the original. We didn't stand a chance. But you know what? We placed. We did well. I, I, I think we finished in the top group, and I'm very, very happy. And it was more about having fun and involving you guys in something. Hopefully, you guys got some good deals on various things from me or from any of the other resellers. And it was also helping some of these younger channels get a little bit of exposure on their YouTube channel and hopefully grow. And so I hope that they were able to do that. I think they did. And we sold some cool things and I had a really good time doing this. And this video is to take a look at what sold out of that bunch. So we're going to start down at the bottom and I'll just work my way up with what sold first all the way up. I separated these by about five minutes a piece. So for about 20 minutes, I had things coming in. The first thing, Right here, the Haunted Doll. It is no longer hanging out in my shop. This thing is gone. We got 19 bids on the Haunted Doll, and it went up to $51. And I think it might have gone out to a viewer. I'm not sure. Melanie, if you're a viewer of the channel, let me know down below uh, if, if you bought any of these things. Melanie, thank you very much. If you are a viewer of the channel, that doll can haunt you now and give you bad dreams. The We Bundle, I know that went to a subscriber. We had 30 bids on that one. This was the Wii. I had a nunchuck. I had a controller. Uh, I came with three or four games. And I actually, uh, because I found out that it was a viewer of the channel that bought it, I found, I think, three other games and tossed those in there as well. So you got some bonus games in there. This went for $118.50 to Miriam. So Miriam, thank you so much. She says she always looks forward to uh, watching the show. So I appreciate you making that purchase and I hope you enjoy that. If you have any problems, you let me know. We'll take care of you. The Cut and Style Barbie. This one got 45 bids. It ended up going international through the uh, global shipping program. Typically, I do eBay standard international delivery, but then the the person pays for that shipping and we were doing free shipping. So I thought, you know what, for these, I'm going to allow international, but I'm going to change it to global shipping. That way I could do free shipping to Kentucky and then the buyer could purchase past that. So that's why we went through global shipping for this. And that's where it sold. Ultimately, it went to Italy. I don't know if that's a viewer in Italy. Uh, Elisa, Elisa, Elisa. I'm going to go with Elisa in Italy. Uh, Cut and style and Barbie. 45 bids went for 107.50. And then the gold label Barbie. This was the good one and I thought we would do well and we did well. Maybe. I don't know because they haven't paid yet. I got 51 bids on this thing and it went up to $361 free shipping. Um and I did hear initially from the person that won a little bit, you know, early in the morning, in the overnight hours saying, hey, do you take credit cards or do you go through PayPal? Uh, I said, well, I go through PayPal through the eBay system. And then I later heard back, said, okay, thank you. Um, I need to see if some friends can help me with paying through PayPal. It's not that hard. It's really easy. I'm not sure what's going on. I have a, uh, I have a suspicion that's going to result in an unpaid item case at this point because, you know, it's sold on Sunday night. And as I'm making this, it's now Tuesday and nothing. So 
I don't know what to do with that one. I'm just waiting and then fingers crossed. And then the best thing out of this whole deal, we were in, and we, 10% uh, of the sales went to uh, charity anyway. And then we had one item that was 100%. We're donating everything to uh, the, our local food bank. It's called Helena Food Share. They have a program that helps out uh, kids in the school district. There's a lot of kids that go home on the weekend and their meals come from breakfast and lunch at school. Well, they go home on the weekend and they don't have that, right? So they came up with the Kid Pack program and they put together these bags of food that the kids get on Friday and they can take home and they have some food for the weekend and uh, it's a really cool program and they were needing some money to finish out the school year and so i wanted to help them out and so we put up this guy this is the giant enema and you can see the other behind me sitting back there from kevin the commonwealth picker he's actually autographed this on the back this has sort of become uh, the the mascot of his channel uh if if you're a reseller if you're a youtube reseller for sure uh, you probably got one of the, well, not one of these. You got one of those sitting somewhere in your eBay space. This guy started life as a golf head cover. And so I cut off the sock on the bottom and stuffed him with polyfill and stitched him up myself, stitched him on the bottom and turned him into a giant plush. He's 15 inches, if I remember right. And so we put this up, 100% of that was going to go and uh, help kiddos out and go to the Kid Pack program. And we ended up getting 50 bids on this. And it ended up, I, stunning number, it ended up at $269 for this guy. And my voice catches a little bit to talk about this because it's just so cool. You had to give me a minute there. Brian bought this, and Brian is a watcher. He's a supporter. And um, Brian, sent, I was actually packing stuff up, and I had uh, got this guy in a box, and I got a message from Brian on Instagram. Actually, I got a message on eBay saying, uh, don't print the label, check your messages on Instagram. And so I went over to Instagram and Brian wrote me a uh, really nice message on there and uh, essentially said, yeah, don't ship this thing. I wanted to help out the cause. Uh, Brian enjoys cooking. Uh, you check out his Instagram channel. You can tell that the man loves to cook and that's something I, I love cooking as well. So, you know, we, we've got something in common there, Brian. And uh, he said, you know what? I just wanted to help out. I wanted to help the charity. And he said, I have a bigger reach than he does. And so what he wanted me to do is keep this guy. We might call him Brian. Um, he wanted me to keep this guy. And he paid. He paid right away. He said, take my payment and give it to the charity. And then auction this guy off again for the same charity later. Um, so we're going to do that. He said, the timing is up to me. So we're going to, we're, we're going to let him sit for a little bit. You know, I don't want to throw it up there again, right away. We're going to let it sit. And then, uh, a little bit down the road when it feels like a good time to do it, we're going to do it again. And we're going to raise more money for the kid packs program and help out more, uh, more kids struggling with food scarcity. So Brian, man, I mean, we've, we've already chatted back and forth, but I just, I, I, I can't thank you enough. I mean, it, it's such a cool thing that you did. And uh, he, he was going to do it from the jump. He commented on that video, said uh, something to the effect of nobody even try it. It's already mine. And somebody challenged him on this thing, but Brian was not going to be denied. I let Kevin know. And uh, he uh, also says, uh, it's it, obviously, it's it's pretty amazing. And uh, Brian, thanks so much, man. It, it, it's such a cool thing. So he's going to hang out with us for a little bit here. And then we are going to put him back up for auction to help out some school kids. And so here we are at the Helena Food Share website, guys. I just wanted to uh, just show you that we're following through here. And uh, this is the Kid Packs portion of the website. And you can see right there, they say one in five children are food insecure here in Helena. And like I've said before on videos, uh, officials, actually that's the official number, but they think it's actually probably closer to one in four. Uh, it just, it's, it's a tragic thing. And so 4850 gives 10 kids a weekend kid pack. $184.30 is going to give one kid a kid pack for the whole school year. But we raised more than that. Um, and so what we're going to do, we're going to do $300 in there. We got three, uh, 269 from uh, the Enemy that Brian purchased and then told us to 
put up for auction again. And we are going to do that. We're going to auction that off again. But two of the listings, for whatever reason, I didn't get the 10% added to the Montana Food Bank Network. So that didn't automatically come out. We're going to take that 10% and we're going to put it on this. And then we're going to round it up. So, uh, you know, good round number sounds good. So we're going to donate. You guys are donating in part as well. $300, which is going to help a lot of kids. Okay, and there you go. I didn't want to put my credit card information out there for you. So we have uh, filled that out and it's in. So once again, thank you so much. kids. And I wanted to uh, thank all of you that participated in this, whether through my channel or through all of the other people that were doing it. It was a great time. There were some good things put up. And I just, I, I think it's really neat. And a special thanks going out to Courtney for putting this thing together. I, unofficially, I was part of putting it together. I, I take, uh, you know, a, a tenth of a percent of the credit on this thing, if that. This was Courtney's thing, and I was just there to bounce ideas off of in the beginning, and she ran with it. So, Courtney, uh, you're fantastic. If you haven't watched her channel, you need to. She does so much work on finding bolos and so many of them that you would have never imagined would sell for what they sell for. So go watch her channel. It's really, really good, especially if you're new. I know I've got a lot of newer resellers that watch my channel. Go check out Courtney's channel because it's it's like reading the Encyclopedia Britannica of uh, of reselling. I mean, she, she's really, really good, and she does a lot to help us in the community. So Courtney, thank you so much. And I do want to thank some other people because we did actually, speaking of charity, um, we went for about a week, week and a half. I was raising some money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And um, you guys, once again, um, incredible. Uh, we finished that campaign. It finished on the 31st and we raised $526 for the Make-A-Wish uh, Foundation. And once again, helping out kids uh, and, and, and families in very difficult situation. And that was something that, you know, even this, you know, people bidding on this, it's, they're doing it for charity, but at the end of the day, they get something. It's like donating to, to PBS or something, right? You, you, you get that overnight bag for the $250 pledge. You didn't do it for that, but you get something in return at least, right? Uh, this was just giving money to a cause. Um, and it, it's fantastic. $526 in a week is far more than I, I ever anticipated, than I ever imagined. And so I want to thank all of you. And I wrote names down here because I want to thank all of you that donated uh, by name. We had Allie was the first to jump in. She caught the post on Instagram. I sort of soft launched this thing on Instagram and she jumped in right away uh, with the pledge. And then we put it on YouTube channel and we got a lot of people. So Jeff, we had Ray Lilly, Hamlet, Mary Lou, Moody, uh, Miss Jane came in as well. James, thank you so much. Mary C, Rachel, Turtle Mom stopped by, Jeffrey, Beth, Pick and Georgia Peaches stop by as well. Amanda and then Rebel, uh, Rebel Junk, Aaron, uh, swung by and donated as well. So all of you guys, I, I truly, I, I can't thank you enough uh, to be able to have as, as, as small as what this is in comparison to other very large YouTube channels, um, to be able to, to use my however tall platform to do things like that, um, that means a lot. You know, the reason we do this is to help people. And initially it was to help people learn about reselling. And, uh, you know, that I learned so much from YouTube videos. I wanted to give back. And it's it turned into a way to here and there help others as well. And we do that th through you. And this is such a fantastic community of people. It never ceases to amaze me uh, when an ask goes out from me or from anybody. When, when there's a need, this community pulls together, sticks their hand out, uh, helps people up when they're down. It, it, it's, it's truly phenomenal. So thank all of you, uh, for helping out with that. And, and we'll do something. If that's something that interests you, we'll do something again, for sure. We are going to, you know, auction him off later, but we'll do something later for sure. I don't want that to take over. I don't want it to feel like I'm always asking you guys for, for money. Cause that's, that's not what we're doing. Uh, but every once in a while, when, when I feel like there's a good cause out there that maybe some people want to help out with, I'll, I'll throw it out there. And if you guys want to help by all means, uh, I, I will, uh, I will be the facilitator 
to do that. So that's what we've got for you today, guys. Like I said, a little bit of a different video, but uh, if, if you do enjoy the channel, I would encourage you to subscribe. We're just about 4,300 subscribers right now. Uh, if, if you have a question, if you have a comment, you can certainly leave it down below, but my contact information is in the description of every video as well. So you can get a hold of me on Instagram or through email every once in a while. I'm a little bit slow about getting back and just, uh, getting back to everybody that, uh, that gets a hold of me, but, uh, I will get back to you. And, uh, if I miss it, holler at me again. Uh, you know, if for whatever reason I missed it, don't feel bad yell at me, say, hey, I messaged you, you missed it. That doesn't bother me at all. So uh, do that. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. That certainly helps me out. Uh, hit the bell. That'll let you know when we put new content up. And otherwise, that's all I got. So have a good day, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.